Hello, hello. If you would like to join me to have a quick look at my very first rickshaw bag, then stay tuned. I would do a quick video and show you guys something. Um, there are obviously plenty of videos out there, but this was definitely a new to me and I wanted to come on here and talk about it because I'm quite impressed <laughs> with what I saw. So what you're looking at here, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is a rickshaw bag and this is like one of their pouches and it has this like really cute um and famous painting on the front they have a, a bunch of these different ones but i purchased this when they were having like a bundle sale and i was pretty excited because i wanted to get some of what's inside but if I had purchased it, it essentially was going to come to the same price as, as purchasing the bundle for a lot less. And that didn't make sense. So I picked this one because it kind of matches the theme that I have going here with this stuff. So um, there were some other really cute ones as well but I went with this one instead. So let's get into it. So these bags are made in the USA. Um, I wanna say in San Francisco, California. Um, really great construction. Let's just look at the bag itself. So it does have a big pocket in front. And I mean, you can get your whole hand in there, a woman's hand anyway, <laughs> or, um, so you could really fit a lot of stuff in that front pocket. The stitching is really good. It's material and, um, and a really just good quality. So that pouch there is the only pouch um on the outside of the bag itself so let's get into the inside so with this bundle this is what you get so you get one two three little single sleeves for your pouch and then looking on the inside, it is this pretty spacious pouch. Um, let's just look at a couple of tall markers here. This is the Zig Clean Dot, and you can see that that fits in. Let's grab a Tombow so that you can just see height-wise. Um, all the way down at the bottom, the Tombos still fit with no problem. So you can zip that up with no issues. So yeah, so that just kind of gives you an idea of, of height wise, like what you can fit in there. Um, let's just do a quick measurement. So, and this is very rough, um, I would say, and his, their measurements online might be a little bit different, obviously. So I would say a little bit more than seven and a quarter. If you kind of poke it out, it's like seven and a half um, tall. And then by not quite five and a half wide. And then the base is like an inch and a quarter, a little more than that. Oops, how about that? Yeah, it's a little bit more. So it, it definitely is good size. Um, these three fit in there and let me put them back in and show you. 
these fit in here, but like you, like there's a lot of room left, so you could easily fit more pens than that in in each one of these pouches. You could probably fit three to four of these three um, pen cases or pen sleeves in there. So it fits a lot. So let's get into what it comes with. So um, this is the three pack and as you can see, so you can kind of bend them down in the front to really see what pens you have in there. And it's this just like super plush, absolutely beautiful, um, is totally going to protect your pen, fountain pen in every way. I love it. So what pens can I fit in this one? So this is the Twisby VAC 700. So this one is a pretty long pen. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of the pen itself, it's almost like five and three quarters inches in height. So, and that fits in there with, with room to spare. And then this is an Opus 88 and that fits with room to spare. And then I have a smaller pen. This one I believe is a woodshed pen. Um, so yeah, that one's not quite as big, but I mean, so you see, you have like a lot of room left there. Okay. So that's that one. And that's the design. So cute. I love it. And then two. So let's, let's just see, um, what, how big of a pen can we get in here? just so y'all know. So we're talking easily, you could do six and a quarter inches in height for a pen for sure. And it would still be in this plush side. So yeah. And I believe that this will probably, yeah, this will be the same height. It's just a two instead of a three. So then I have um, this one, which is my current favorite, this is, um, I had in a prior video is a Scriptorium, um, Lydell, and then I have a Sailor in here. It's a teeny one. This is like one of my smallest fountain pens. I love it because it's like super light, purple and sparkle, of course. So yeah, this one kind of like just gets buried in there. It's a Sailor pen. Um, it was one of like a special edition, but it's so little that it only takes up that much space. And then I have a single in here and what do I have? Probably just a random Twisby. Yep. Random Twisby. Um, pretty much all I have in these right now are pens that I have inked up. So that's why this one's in here. Cause honestly I kind of consider some of my Twisbees a bit of a throwaway pen. <laughs> so I don't need to, um, take care of these ones as much as some of the other ones that I invested, um, into. So, but I have that in there because it is inked up. So I love it. It is a really, really good quality. I've been wanting to buy one of these for quite some time and it just was a really good deal and March is my birthday month so happy birthday to me <laughs> so there you go um if you guys have any questions feel free to comment I will link um Rickshaw's website down below in the description and um they do also have some um specific like specialty um, fabrics and you can contact them and they'll send you the link for the specialty fabric ones. They do tend to be a little bit more money. Um, so investing in those is definitely more expensive. So 
this was a great deal. The bundles are a great deal. I really hope that they keep doing those um, because yeah, there may be another sleeve or two in my future. <laughs> so anywho, if you have any questions, comment, like, and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.